In this video, let's study a new topic under continuity and differentiability. The topic's name is Algebra of Continuous Functions. Now we know what are continuous functions and we know what do we have to deal with the term algebra when come into picture. Algebra means we are going to talk about addition, subtraction, multiplication, quotient and so on. So for that we will have many successive videos but in this video we are going to take into consideration the sum. So for the sum what is written over here let's see let f and g be two real functions be two real functions continuous at x is equal to a that means we have two functions the first function is f the second function is g and they both are continuous when we have x is equal to a when these are continuous what do we mean by that we mean that when we take limit of the function fx at x tends to a since it is continuous the limit should be equal to the value of the function remember in the previous videos so it should be f of a. Similarly, when we talk the same thing about gx because g is also a continuous function at x is equal to a. So for gx the same story should be there that its value and the limit should have the same answers. That means these two things should exist because of the fact that we have continuous functions. Now this is the story that these two things exist. What is written over here? Let alpha be real number alpha is a real number right so alpha can also be there anything else can also be there now what is there then f plus g is continuous that means we are talking about the sum in this case if f minus g was there we would have talked about the difference but now we have the sum f plus g is continuous at x is equal to a and these two things we already know now if f plus g is continuous to check that, to prove that, to verify that, I have written let we have, let we have limit f plus g x, okay, at x tends to a. If this is the story, you know the property of limits from our previous classes that we can always separate it, always separate it. So it becomes fx plus limit x tends to a and then it becomes gx. This is clear? Right now, what is the value of limit fx when x tends to a? Limit fx when x tends to a is equal to f of a. So, this basically is equal to f of a. Similarly, what is the value of limit x tends to a at gx? Or I mean to say, limit gx at x tends to a. It is equal to ga. So, these two things are for sure. That also means what? That means that we can actually club them together. So, it becomes f plus g of a and since I started with the limit and I reached that it is all equal to the value of the function that means what left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to the value of the function that means that this is about the continuity that means the sum of two continuous functions is also continuous. 